Welcome back guys to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. This is episode 51 and in this episode we are going to create a multiplayer system with a lobby which will allow us to play with our friends. So the first thing what we should do is create a lobby map because as of right now we only have this playable map which is not what we want to load first because if we want to join at a uh, to a friend in his world then we probably don't even need to load this one so what I will do is go to my maps folder in the third person character blueprint folder by default here is the third person example map uh, which is uh, this one and I'm simply going to right click and create a new level and I'm gonna call this lobby map so that's that and uh, now in our settings in our project settings let's see where it was uh, there it is here we have this maps and modes and for the startup and the game default map we should change this to the lobby like so we have changed that one and the next thing what we should probably also do is so here by default I guess we have none so we should probably in this world settings we should probably pick the third person game mode so that our uh, things would load up over here and now what I will do is save this whole thing and you can close the editor and now once you open it up it will launch the lobby map or you can just simply click on the lobby map and this gets opened so what we should do in here is create a temporary character um, so I'm going to go to the blueprints of my third person character where I have my third person character and I will create a new blueprint class which is going to be I believe we need a character we can just simply look at this so yeah this is a character so we can create a character and I'm gonna call this lobby character BB and also I'm going to create a game mode base blueprint which I'm gonna call the lobby game mode and there we go and now here in our world settings in our lobby we can select our lobby game mode and default pawn should be the lobby character BP there we go so now we can save this so now we can open up our lobby character BP and inside of here in the event graph we need a event begin play and we should create an UI for this so what we can do is create a widget like this then we should add to viewport then we probably should get owning let's see get owning player yeah I think this was the node and we should show mouse cursor set show mouse cursor and we should set this to true like so um, now we get an error because we don't have a UI for this so let's go on in our UI folder and let's create a new widget which is going to be in my case UI start menu um, also, I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, you don't need anything pre-made from my project that I already have. This will work with any blueprint project you are creating. So inside of here, I'm going to do some designs and uh, I'm going to explain uh, what I've created. So for my UI, what I've done is created two buttons. Uh, with texts on top of them one of them is host new game and the other one will allow us to join an existing game uh, both of these are variables and I gave them uh, names so host game button and the join a game button and also I've added a text box and if you would type in text in the palette this is this text box that I have added and also I've added a uh, two spacers to this so this is all that we need to do and uh, all also what I forgot to do is you give need to give this a name as well and this server IP is just a hint text so if you uh, if the character will start to player will start to type in the IP address the server IP text will just simply disappear so now I will rename this to the IP field 
So now inside of the graph, we can work on the events. So the first one, what we are going to work on is our host game. So I'm going to select this and on clicked event, we are going to remove all widgets. Um, so that basically we so that we would remove this widget from the screen. And the next thing what we are going to do is we are going to create a session. So create session. There we go. And uh, for the player controller, we need to get owning player, the owning player of uh, this specific widget. And uh, then we should probably on success, we should open a level. And um, we need to select this drop down and type in in the options. We need a listen, which is the server type. And for the level name, uh, we need to find our third person example map uh, or whatever map you are using for the game. Um, so we need the name of that map over here. So this is going to be it for me. Um, let's see. The next thing what we should probably do is work on this IP field. So if we select this, we have two options on text changed and on text committed. I'm going to do mine on text committed because I want the IP to be saved only once it's been fully typed in, not uh, every time the player types in a character. So I'm going to promote this text to a variable and I'm going to rename this to server IP address like so and now let's work on the join a game button so on clicked event we are again going to remove all widgets like so and we are going to do a execute console command and the specific uh, player is get owning player again this widgets player I will move this down a bit and from this command I will do a append so that we can append a command and what we want to do is type in here in the A we want to type in open and do a space this is very important we need a space over here and from the B we want to get our IP address inside of here so that we would open this IP that our uh, player has typed in. So um, this will work perfectly if we have the correct IP address. But if the player will type in incorrect IP address, he will be stuck on that screen. So what we can do is create a delay of let's say I'm going to type in four seconds. So basically it will take four seconds for the player to um, uh, for it will have four seconds of time to join a server and if it doesn't uh, do that in these four seconds then we are going to create a widget once again and this is going to be this UI start menu widget that we are going to create so UI start menu and we are going to add to viewport like so so now we can compile this and save this and this is basically it now in our lobby character we can select our UI start menu and this should work pretty great so if we press play you can see uh, I opened up two games we can host a new game and we have joined a game but if we select the other screen and we type in 127.0.0.1 which is the local IP address we click join a game and as you can see, uh, we have joined in the same server. But if we press host the game and host the game in the other one, you can see that the other character is not in, it's not here. They are in totally different servers, playing all by themselves uh, without anybody disturbing them. And also, if you would check this out, we host this and let's say we type in a random IP address which doesn't really exist, we click join a game and it draws us back to this screen because 
it does not exist well and now it gave me that this is an invalid URL because of course um, you need to type in the IP address rather than just some random letters and numbers which is going to give you an error so uh, this was a pretty straightforward and simple tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, in the following videos I'm going to start working on the saving system so that we would save things also we are going to create some system that would uh, that will identify the separate uh, players so this is going to be it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any more suggestions please leave a comment down below I will get to them as soon as I can um, this was a pretty straightforward tutorial and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.